will be how much? I have told you. How much? How much will be here? What is the angle here? At this point, what is that? Then tan of y by 4 is how much? 1. So basically, if you see, this is the graph between theta and tan theta. Tangent of any angle at that point gives you the rate of change at that point. This you have to take a now further, which is very important. Now I take up the method. So this was a trigonometry function in which one varies, other thing varies. We have talked about x and y in mathematics. Now we talk, we have talked how does area change upon the radius. Now we will talk something. How does the distance by a body change with respect to the path? You know in physics also you can use this. I say distance s is u t plus half of a t square zero that. So I write simple r t plus t square. Let us say to be very very simple. If I write in terms of the function, I write s the distance. S is distance is a function of height. If you find something expression like this, remember distance is equal to some function of height, some expression in t. Okay. From here. So s is now compare this. Y is f of x. When y is f of x, from here, you have to find rate of change of y, that is dy by dx. How much is this? dy by dx. I just told you this is the slope of the, we call it m also. This is also called the slope. This is also called the tangent of theta, t3. Graphing of it is very simple. We'll give you the graph, we'll give you expression, draw the graph. From the graph, we tell you at this point of value x, from x, go to that point, draw a tangent there, measure the theta and say tan theta is there. So, rate of change at that time of 1 with respect to is the same. Now, we apply this to this. Now, use this to this. So, ds by dt, I will find rate of change of this with respect to d by dt of S, what is S equal to this thing? T plus C square. We have got some formula to do that. I tell you, if you do this, this will come 1 plus 2. And you know that. So this is ds upon dt. And you also know that ds upon dt is called velocity t. So you get an expression that velocity is function of time. This means if you get Something here which is constant, it has to be a straight line. Okay? When you get velocity by definition it is equal to 1 plus 2t, it shows velocity still depends upon time. And if you ask you velocity of time and graph by here, so again it will not be a straight line. It has to be different. You have to check. Give different values of k and c. One more, this means we can still find what is the rate of change of velocity. With respect to time. Further, this is called acceleration. So, rate of change of distance, when you talk about physics, rate of change of distance with respect to time is the velocity at that time. If a thing starts from here, I kick it. It is initial velocity I have given it. The moment I kick it, then the friction also. It will go with sudden velocity I initially. Uh, boss is that due to the force of my kick, the ball will move and stop there. So there is a force acting on this which stops it. Means here was the velocity maximum, here was the velocity zero. This means velocity has decreased. This means that every point velocity has got different values. Have you understood? If the velocity has got different values at every point of time, after one second of the kick, two seconds, three, four, five, and six seconds, it stops. This means velocity is decreasing, means there is the rate of change of distance with respect to time is not constant. What is it? Had it been constant, let's call it constant. 
If I say rate of change of distance with time is constant, and I say like this, let us say df by dt is constant. This means any interval, let's say dt you can constant. You can't take dt one because you can take delta t as one. dt is an extremely value when both a and b point be constant. That is why you can delta t goes to zero. So of course I have to uh, make you understand things. I tell you this d is s upon dt is constant. You know d s upon dt is velocity is constant. If velocity is constant, for your purpose. See from here what do we draw? ds upon dt is constant means for every dt change will be same. If in one second it changes by one meter, velocity will be one meter for one second. In two seconds it will become two meters per second. It will be, after two seconds it will level two meter. After three seconds it will level three seconds. This is the meaning. This is, so these variation of what physical quantity with other characters not of many. Now I take the last part of it. How to calculate the values? I have told you number one. Why do we require to know the rate of change of one physical quantity with respect to the other? Secondly, I told you this quantity is defined as if we ask you the examination. Define so or define dy by dx. You can say dy by dx is equal to limit delta x. What is the meaning of this? Goes to zero for what delta y by delta x. Please remember this. So I am going to use this. And the graph for this will be again same. This is This is delta y and this is delta x. This is some one value of x, this is some other value of x, this is x1, this is x2, this is y1, this is y2, and this is 0, x x is very, y is very. With respect to this graph, this is the way. Let us take the same graph. Plot, write anything, try to understand. I ask you, let y be equal to x squared. That implies that y is a function of x. Now I tell you, find the rate of change of y with respect to x. How do you do it? You say, how you have to proceed? You are saying, let x change by delta x. Then y will change by delta y. It will change. You know that point? So when x changes by delta x, x goes to x becomes x plus delta x. Since it is square, it will be square, and y becomes y plus delta x. You have to find delta y. So subtract this from this. Left hand side from left hand side, right hand from right hand side. See what it is now. From this, if you subtract this, you will get delta y. Okay? So you have got delta y. If you sub open this expression, this will be x square plus 2 delta x into x plus delta square, delta x square. You see, delta x has no extremely value. Just tell you, there's the thing that delta x is 0 0.001. I take, I take this much. That dx will be 0 0.000000000. So I take delta x is one. If I square this, you can see this will be much less than this. So delta, whenever there is a quantity which is less than one, its square, its cube, its all positive powers will be still less than that quantity. So if delta x is equal to zero, delta x square, delta x cube, all these can be negative because they will become still smaller. So we neglect this. This is neglected. Now, from this expression, you subtract this, you get this one. From this expression, I have taken delta x0, you subtract x. So, these two will cancel, you will get 2 delta x into x. 